Good morning, dear children. How are you? Hope you all are doing well. Today we'll start new lesson. Let's start. Lesson number five: Alice in Wonderland. Have you ever seen a rabbit talking like a human being? What do you think will happen if animals start talking? What a fascinating word it will be. Really, it will be a fascinating word. Let's now read a small extract adapted from Lewis Carroll's popular children's fantasy book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which is full of humor and magic. But you must leave all your logical reasoning behind before you begin reading this extract. One summer day, Alice and her kitten Dina were sitting on the branches of a tree. Down below, her sister was reading aloud from a history book, but Alice wasn't listening. She was dreaming of a world. Where cats and rabbits wore clothes and lived in little houses, she picked up Dina and climbed down from the tree. Just then, a white rabbit came scuttling along. He was clutching a large watch. The meaning of the word scuttling, running hurriedly, clutching. holding tightly the white rabbit looked at his watch as he ran fast alice muttering i am late i am late muttering means to say in a voice that can barely be heard how curious gasped alice What could a rabbit possibly be late for? Please, she cried. Wait for me. Curious means strange. Gasp means to say something while catching one's breath. Cried, shouted. but the rabbit didn't stop i am late i am late he cried and disappeared into a large hole at the foot of a tree alice was now very curious she squeezed into the dark hole and crawled after him curious eager to know or learn something squeezed managed to get into or through a narrow or restricted space suddenly she found herself falling down 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 luckily her dress ballooned out like a parachute and she began floating she looked around and saw that there were all kinds of strange pictures and furniture hanging on the walls of the tunnel ballooned to swell out in a spherical shape parachute a device like an umbrella at last alice reached the bottom the white rabbit was just disappearing round the corner at the end of a very long corridor wait cried alice chasing after him at the end of the corridor was a tiny door alice tried the door knob yuck cried a voice the door knob was speaking i am looking for the white rabbit said alice Please let me through. Sorry, you are too big," replied the doorknob. "Try the bottle on the table 
over there. Alice looked around and saw the bottle labeled, Drink me. Alice tasted a little. Soon she finished every drop. Suddenly, Alice began to shrink. Soon she became so tiny that she was able to get through the little door. On the other side of the door, Alice found herself on the edge of a large forest. She saw the white rabbit through the trees in the distance. She started to run after him, but suddenly her way was blocked by two fat little men, Twiddle Dee and Twiddle Dum. My name is Alice, said Alice. I am curious to know where the white rabbit is going. The two little men began talking at the same time. Alice couldn't understand what they were saying. So she decided to set off in another direction. Soon she came to a little house as she walked up the path. The white rabbit ran out of the front door. He was now dressed in a tunic and rough. Tunic means a short coat and rough means a kind of a collar. Oh my, I am late, I am late, he cried. Then he said to Alice, go and get my gloves. Alice was too surprised to argue and went inside the little house. She scratched everywhere. Finally, she lifted the lid of a jar and found some biscuits. They looked very good to eat, so she took one. When Alice ate the biscuit, she started to grow and grow and grow. Soon, she was so big that she was bursting out of the house. Her arms poked through the windows and her legs burst out of the door. A monster cried the white rabbit, bursting to be so full as almost to break open. And poke means stuck out. Perhaps if I find something else to eat, said Alice. It will make me small again. She scratched out her hand and pulled up a carrot from the garden. When she ate it, she began to shrink. Stressed means extended. Soon she was so small she could crawl under the front door. The rabbit, pleased that the monster had disappeared, ran off down the garden. Alice tried to follow him, but now that she was so tiny, the grass seemed like a huge forest. And, who are you? asked a sleepy voice. It was a caterpillar laying lazily on a mushroom. I am Alice, replied Alice, and I wish I was a little taller. Suddenly, the caterpillar turned into a butterfly. I can help, said the butterfly, pointing at the mushroom. One side of this will make you taller, the other side will make you shorter. Then the butterfly fluttered away. Fluttered means to fly unsteadily by flapping the wings quickly and lightly. Alice looked at the mushroom trying to decide which side would make her taller. Finally, she broke off a piece from each side and took a large bite from one. Luckily, she had chosen the correct piece and was soon back to her normal height. She dropped the pieces of mushroom into her pocket.
adapted from alice in wonderland by lewis carroll about this story lewis carroll born in 1832 and passed away in 1898 was a notable english writer of children's fiction like alice's adventures in wonderland and its sequel through the looking glass his real name was charles ludwig doxon and he was also an extraordinary mathematician now students read this lesson and do new words with word meaning in your classwork notebook that's all for today all of you read the given lesson carefully at home and do new words of the same see you in the next class till then take very good care of yourself bye bye